Hello, 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 and welcome to episode uh, 642 of Prog Review. I didn't know whether to do this in Prog Review or Music Go Around, but hey, we're in Prog Review now, so there you go, that's what happens. And I'm not doing the whole box set. Oh, I've got it upside down. <laughs> I'm not doing, not, I dipped into it. I dipped into it. I know it's been a long time coming. Um, but what I did is I, lit, I, I went for this one, which is the debut album from Blue Oyster Cult. Uh, released originally on January the 16th, 1972. Um, yeah. It's going to be a short review. I, I, didn't, I didn't like this album. <laughs> Although it's only 36 minutes 48, it felt like it was a triple album. It felt like it was going on for days. And days and days and days and days, and it pertains to a certain style of rock music uh, that you got, you know, back in the, the early seventies, I guess. No, very, it's very well, it's guitar orientated. It's not quite heavy metal. It's not quite hard rock. Um, they say in the description it's psychedelic rock. I wouldn't even call it that. Um, it's pretty much out and out guitar led, very derivative rock music none of there's no tunes here there's no charm there's nothing you know nothing to you know charm me um and so i just found it awful i think there was a there's a second track there was a, a really good kind of guitar riff that i thought was kind of cool but then there was singing oh and the singer's voice oh oh jeez it was horrible um Yeah, I. Yeah, I mean, I must know. I must mention there was a song here called uh, "She's as Beautiful as a Foot." <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that that stood out. <laughs> but yeah, I got, I got, I got nothing. I'm I'm running on empty. Oh, hello, dog. And is here for a fuss. For when I do a prog review, dog, he wants a fuss. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's. Uh, turgid. I like to use the word turgid because it is. It's pretty uninspired rock music there are other there are other better more interesting rock albums out there to listen to um the only the only redeeming feature is is the is uh, uh the guitarist's nickname is buck dharma which i don't know makes me laugh for some reason because you know it sounds rude <laughs> but i would score this a one i'm not a lamb but ain't no sheep out of five, it's one. I'm not the lamb, but ain't no sheep. Out of five, which is the one with the, I think that's the one with the the, the riff that I quite enjoyed. But the rest of it, oh god, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And I don't know why anyone would choose to listen to this record unless I don't know you're 12 years old or something and you've just discovered rock. But appalling. And it's kind of put me off the rest of the box set, really. But I was always a little bit worried about uh, like approaching this. I was always a little bit, oh, oh, I'm a bit scared. But I did it. I dipped in, and, and I guess I'll have to do the second album now. But I don't know when that'll be. Maybe in another five years' time, once I've got this one out of my. Uh... And look at that. You can bear. There is writing on the back of that. Not that you're going to see it because the camera is not on autofocus. But the writing is so tiny. Good job. There's a booklet. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, the next one, Tyranny and yeah, whatever that is. Yeah, needs more cowbell, I guess. Um, but yeah, there's a right old load of records to get through in this set. Um, anyway, thanks for thanks for joining me. I've been talking about um, the debut album. I guess it's called Blue Oyster Cult. I'll hold it up again. That can be the thumbnail, that'll confuse everyone. I think I'll like it.
but I don't. It was horrible, and I hope it improves. But it just goes to show there's a market for everything, isn't there, in this world? Um, for me, no, it's going to be a hard slog. Thank you for joining me. There's only one more thing left to say, and it's prog on.